Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Thursday, the 4th of August 2022. So uh, Fed member daily dumps on dovish dreams, but stocks scream higher anyway. So they're switching the narrative from uh, pivoting to cutting rates to continuing the hawkish uh, rhetoric that they've had for some time. Stocks at highest level since June after strong ISM services uh, and Pelosi fade. What they mean by the Pelosi fade is that she managed to escape from Taiwan without the Chinese bombing her or killing her off. Uh, best thing they could do is send her back to America, frankly. That's uh, where she needs to be. So, yeah, stocks at the highest level since uh, June after strong ISM services, which uh, again is inflationary, which is why Daly was then hinting at more of a, a dovish stance. Uh, JPM trading desk frustration everywhere. Traders feel like they can't get anything right. That's because you have to trade what you see, not what you think it's going to be. And if you trade from that standpoint view and have a trading strategy that's repeatable, then you can trade without having to worry about what uh, your opinion is because your opinion will never be met by what the market activity is. The market's right and then you have to trade what you actually see. Economic news today. Uh, Let's have a look. Um, we'll go with uh, the midday, really. It's it's all about the UK interest rates today. We've already discussed this earlier in the week. Uh, 50 basis point rise in this uh, forecast for today, which is going to be one of the biggest uh, rate increases they've made for a long time. So that's the main news event of today. Uh, we've also got the construction uh, PMI, again, an inflationary number, which is uh, showing a small decline, but I bet that's actually higher. So that's about it, um, just the unemployment claims, and then uh, Mester speaking at 5 p.m. Gold-silver ratio still moving towards the upside as uh, gold remains stronger than silver. And uh, let's get on with it. Let's uh, have a look at the Dow, uh, which uh, yesterday traded to the upside, which you can see there, having retraced down to 50% and the previous day is low. That's why these areas are so important. They converge. And there are great areas to actually take positions from. And you can see there the Dow moving strongly to the upside and trading up. I just remove these fibs just to make it a bit easier for you. And let me just uh, spread this out as well so you can see it a bit more clearly. You will see that the market traded up to uh, 89% uh, as well, uh, right to it uh, there. Bang on 89% is where the market ended yesterday. Overnight uh, prices are just above the five bar moving average. No convincing move to the upside, more of marking up uh, prices than uh, true volumes. In the 30 minute chart for the Dow, uh, you can see again, you've got that uh, close and uh, the market action to the left as well as support three bars sideways where it tried to work out what it wanted to do and then off it went uh, Pelosi left Taiwan uh, heading to uh, South Korea and uh, the market uh, trading sideways uh, overnight so we're free to move back to yesterday's high and continue this run that we see in the daily chart uh, no one's interested in selling the market at the moment they're continuing to buy the market albeit we are at a crucial area of an 89% from the last swing. We've regained now nearly 90% of uh, the drop that we've had here. So uh, it's a crucial area. But if we get through this 89 and we take out uh, this high to the left here, then we're free to continue to the upside until the narrative change or the sentiment changes. So again, keep this in mind. You're looking for retracements. It's green all the way, apart from the odd red bar, and then green all the way, green all the way, the odd red bar. The same as in the down move, where it starts to switch to greens, followed by red. So again, keep an eye on these patterns. In the German DAX, uh, not as strong as uh, the Dow. I mean, 89% retracement from the same period is a long way to go, yet we're just uh, approaching 62% uh, retracement. Yesterday, we took out the high of uh, Monday, 13.572, and uh, we're also at this resistance level just here at the moment, but uh, certainly looking better overnight than the Dow, which is odd. The bigger picture looks weaker, 
but uh, on an intraday basis it's uh, showing a bit more strength here we didn't even get a close below the five bar moving average on uh, monday sorry yeah that's uh, tuesday wednesday the market uh, moving there and breaking through that 13,572 next upside target is uh, 13,828 in the five minute chart for yesterday you can see how the market uh, in the futures was uh, sideways and then they slammed it get your cluster of volume oversold market comes back retraces uh, 62 78 percent and then makes its way up all day when you actually go back and look at the 13 minute chart again one red bar once it works its way out the market then just continues to the upside and the week so far we've got to 84664 we're up to uh, 72 to uh, 28 or you know, thereabouts uh, 73 27 uh, it doesn't really matter uh, we've got a profit factor of 3.08 and that's all that uh, matters as long as the profit factor is uh, positive and above two i'm more than happy i'm not concerned about what the win loss ratio is it's irrelevant as i've shown you so many times it's about uh, letting the profits run in the s p uh, well this is actually through the 89 percent retracement from that same time period you can see uh, over 90 percent of uh, the last sell-off in the stock market has now been regained uh, market holding here at the moment uh, down slightly overnight but in the 30 minute chart again you'll see you've got your three red uh, we're heading towards oversold we've got the 200 ma there and then we switch and bingo off we go all the way up overnight sideways but again like the down not far off the high of yesterday which is easily achievable and uh, can be taken out so uh, with uh, just in the uh, futures market before the cash market opens in the FTSE 100 uh, again just slightly weaker stronger than the DAX but uh, not as strong as the US uh, bit off the 89% retracement there I means sideways for a few days as well we're getting towards uh, well we're not getting towards the end of it. I think it's September or October before uh, we find out who's replacing Boris but the market finding support at the 200 MA and the 62% uh, retracement there again that convergence of the two indicators when scaled down uh, you will find it here and you'll see the market coming back to it which is uh, the low for Tuesday and then Wednesday the market puts in the huge volume comes off the uh, the low of the bar a bit more selling there get it out of the way then we switch back to green and uh, off we go to the upside again no no red bars once the market moves to the upside till we have a breather and then we end up in a sideways uh, range here uh, and then spike out but at the moment a close and again the high it's within uh, you know a few points so again take the high out when you get this new sort of move uh, up where you get in this all you want to see is each day is the the previous day's high being taken out and uh, each day's low being higher than the previous day's low uh, and if it gets down to that low like we've seen in the last couple of days then it's still going to be used as a support so these just are just observations of uh, you know simple observations of what constitutes uh, an up move whether it's one minute daily monthly yearly it doesn't matter what it is if the market's making those rising lows and the highs are taking out the previous day's highs or the one minute highs then it is still bullish for the period and the duration of that particular move so the 30 minute chart like i say sideways and the high is there to be taken out in the end I'll uh, we'll kick off with the end. You can see uh, yesterday the market moving higher with demand, having found uh, buying the previous day at the 78.89 level, uh, closing above the five bar moving average and attempting to move higher there. So from here down to here would give you some targets. We're through 38, so we're stuck at 50 at the moment, and at 62, it's uh, surrounded by uh, the 20 and 50. Uh, averages there as well so in order to continue now prices need to close uh, above the five bar moving average and take out yesterday's high which uh, you'll see is not too far away at all uh, going back to yesterday bit of a sell-off to begin with down towards the dp and then the market moving to the upside we had an hour and a half where the market pulled back before moving up again and then an hour where it pulled back to the 20 bar moving average 200 ma on this first occasion 
pulling back for 30 minutes to the 20 bar moving average and then uh, 89% retracement as the market pulled back here and then moved sideways and overnight in the Asian session the market has been uh, sideways there. Uh, the pound is going to be important today rate rise 50 basis points slightly to send the market up uh, but first in the 30 minute chart expect uh, the market to be marked down and then come back because that's what they do yesterday's 30 minute chart so uh, you can see that they were already anticipating this moving the market down dollar also strengthening uh, a bit of a 90 percent retracement there at the dp resistance area closing back below the 200 down we go and then uh, we end up with divergence and oversold market uh, then trading sideways overnight and finally in the metals uh, starting with the silver market uh, holding at the moment uh, trying to trade back above the 62 percent retracement uh, closed below the five bar moving average again yesterday i have to wait and see but it seems to be holding a bit of strength at the moment uh, annoyingly because I could do with it pulling back down to you know these sort of fib levels 30 minute chart well what a surprise uh, market uh, down slightly to begin with retracement moved up before the 1 p.m. fix 1 p.m. slam uh, and then come back uh, overnight uh, the market is attempting and the early hours there to come off the DP and try and get above the 200 MA and yesterday's high which you can see there be waiting for the interest rate decisions today uh, gold looking a lot stronger no red bars in sight whatsoever in the daily chart at the moment continuing to move higher stuck at 62 uh, percent retracement there at the moment 30 minute chart shows again the one o'clock slam down to the previous day's low tuesday's low market then being brought back and has already taken out the high where a silver hasn't which is why you're seeing the difference in the gold silver ratio US dollar uh, up for two days, like I say, pound, uh, Bank of England, pound should be bullish after the rate increase later today, put a bit of pressure on the dollar. And finally, crude oil starting to sell off. OPEC agreed to produce um, or to, uh, well, they, they agreed to increase uh, production of 100 or make available 100,000 extra barrels per day. So much for the net zero, eh? So much for that. So yeah, uh, we've got um, crude oil under pressure there. 9287 is going to be the area where it uh, will need to find some sort of uh, support if prices continue to move lower. But that was the reason for the drop in crude oil yesterday, 100,000 barrels per day being made available by the Saudis. Um, that's going to be an interesting one, isn't it, when we try and get to net zero in the Middle East, have got all the oil yeah anyway let's not go down that route okay let's see what happens at lunchtime see if uh, bailey honors his uh, 50 basis point increase in the forecast and if he does then it'll get interesting for the pound okay that's it uh, for this one if there is anything else to report i'll let you know but otherwise as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one